Hi everybody, uh, within this video we'll uh, discuss uh, possible types of application deployment and we'll see some uh, simple examples how to do that. So first of all let's uh, define main types of application deployments. So uh, first of all this, uh, this uh, the simplest, uh, this is a manual way. So this uh, can be achieved by means of dashboard, uh, deployment manager. So in this case, a customer uh, uploads his application, zip file, war file, ER file, uh, tar, gz file, whatever, uh, all types that uh, are uh, supported in Gelastic can be uploaded. Uh, and then uh, manually uh, deploy uh, deploys that application to a target environment. So let's see how it works. Uh, so first of all, we have created uh, few environments. Then we need to upload uh, physically. So uh, upload uh, our application right from our uh, local machine. So we need to browse. this project click on upload uh, at the bottom there is a progress bar uh, so physically uh, this war file uh, with this uh, size uh, has been uh, uploaded from my local machine to Gelastic uh, um, uh, global uploader uh, where actually all such files are located and files from another customers are located in the one place uh, next we need to uh, establish deployment so there is a button uh, and you see that it's possible for example uh, I have five environments uh, one environment uh, is stopped uh, one environment is sleeping and three uh, are running if we click uh, deploy to button you'll see um, three environments that have um, running state but uh, one environment is disabled uh, as uh, it's a PHP based environment but uh, application that we are going to deploy is a Java based so uh, it's disabled due to um, application types conflict so it's a, a normal behavior so next we need to uh, choose an environment and uh, specify a context name um, it's possible to have uh, more than one context under um, in, uh, under uh, s uh, similar environments. Uh, what it means? It means that, for example, um, I I can I can do like just leave it uh, leave it empty, and as a result, my application will be deployed to root context. Let's see. So um, what hap what's happened right now? Um, war file that was uh, uploaded from my local machine to Gelastic uploaded uploader earlier um, has been migrated uh, from that uploader to um, co a virtual container with the Tomcat uh, application server. So, and as a result, uh, we can see action logs, so some details concerning our deployment. This is a normal, this is basic standard um, response uh, of standard Tomcat uh, application server. So let's, let's see how it works. As a result, we should have, yeah this uh, simple application uh, I was talking about uh, specifying context context name uh, at the deployment stage 
for example, we are also able to deploy uh, deploy another application to the same environment but to uh, another context. Um, it's possible to create um, a lot of context, but um, it should be uh, keep in mind that it depends on the allocated resources by, per application server. So as a result, you see that there are two um, running in uh, two running applications. So if we click on it, you see that there is a context name, and as a result, we should have um, hello world basic application provided by Elastic by default. Now that's it concerning manual deployment. That was the simplest way. Then let's proceed. Uh, this is a deployment through URL. What it means? Um, in comparison with the previous way, um, we, we had a limitation. We had a restriction uh, equal to uh, 150 megabytes. Uh, why it's restricted? Because um, all such uh, actions, like a manual way, actually deployment from the local machine to the Elastic Uploader, um, this is a law to uh, resolve the um, entry point of Elastic platform. So, uh, to avoid some uh, hacks, uh, we decided to restrict that and set a limitation equal to uh, 150 megabytes. Um, how to um, wait around? It's possible to deploy uh, by means of second uh, feature. This is a deployment through URL. Uh, the details can be found at gelastic.com. This is a pretty um, nice uh, description. Section features. This uh, file uploading section. Here you go. And as a result, you see that um, this can be achieved by means of specifying a direct link to uh, application uh, that is located on some external resources. Uh, the requirements is that link should be uh, active and should be a really a direct link to application uh, file so uh, it's uh, it shouldn't be like a link to some for example to some um, um, some storage resources like sourceforge.org or whatever so link should be a direct uh, I have already prepared um, uh, such link for example so we uh, let's check how it works so first of all we need to click on upload switch URL tab and uh, specify the URL URL uh, can be as a U uh, HTTP HTTPS based and FTP FTPS uh, based as well it's also possible to set FTP uh, credentials if such uh, required <coughs> But we will use simple HTTP uh, link. Here it is. So this is a direct link to our uh, WAR file. For example, how to get it checked. Uh, check that it, uh, it's a really direct link. Just try to open it in the browser. And as a result, you, sh uh, you should have um, downloaded started. <coughs> So we need to paste it here. Click on upload. Um, what actually happened? Um, we have a, uh, we have a new record been added. But uh, for now, in Gelastic, actually, Gelastic uh, knows about that uh, application 
uh, only uh, where it's located uh, the, si the, uh, the size of that application but Jelastic, for now Jelastic doesn't store that application on uh, its site so um, we need to if we want to uh, proceed with deployment we need to also choose a target environment and click on deploy and only uh, within this stage uh, Jelastic sends a specific command uh, to that container and that container um, pulls that application and uh, deploys that automatically so at this, uh, this uh, stage Jelastic um, pulls application from that external resource and uh, starts to store that inside the container so this is just simple application so this is the difference and uh, in comparison with the previous with the first way and there is no limitation concerning um, file size limit and so on uh, so let's proceed with the next type this is a cloning um, Git or SVN based projects. Um, this type uh, of deployment is very popular um, due to um, due to uh, because a lot of developers actually uh, use some repositories to store their projects and to use some uh, control uh, virtual systems, CBS systems. So let's check how it works. We also uh, prepared a simple application. Um, for example, this is a simple um, PHP application which contains only index PHP file with such uh, simple text. Um, what I want to mention is that uh, you need to define two uh, types of uh, Git and SVN deployments, which um, depends on uh, environment type. For example, if we are talking about PHP environment, um, as a requirement, there is a, uh, just only one requirement to have uh, at least one application server. Uh, in comparison with the Java-based application, uh, as a requirement, uh, we need to have uh, a Maven build tool uh, inside our um, environment because uh, because Java, uh, it's not possible to. Sure, it's possible, but uh, nobody do that. Uh, actually, uh, on repositories, Java projects are stored in a, as a sources. So. Um, as you know, Java technology uh, this uh, it uh, requires binary files. So uh, to make the binary files, we need uh, Maven as a build tool. So um, this uh, additional chain in such uh, deployment way. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Java uh, application stack. Uh, we will see how it works in the PHP. Uh, so this is a button at project opposite to application server and within this stage we need to um, specify path to our uh, application and login and password if it's required uh, branch if it's a git repository uh, and the target um, context name also it's possible to uh, set auto updates feature, for example, to check and uh, <coughs> to check a repository uh, every five minutes and uh, do redeployment in case um, there are some changes in an application code. So we need to um, specify direct link to our application. Let's go back to GitHub.
and just we need to specify uh, HTTP link HTTPS sorry let's move back to dashboard and click on add so as a result um, we sent a command to container with Apache and uh, um, <coughs> internal uh, gem functionality starts to pull a project from github to uh, Apache uh, application server so as a result we have here you go the same text as we have on uh, github repository so I suppose it should be clear uh, let's proceed with the next um, the last one this uh, remote deployment um, what it means it means that there is a possibility in Gelastic to uh, do to do uh, deploy remotely and um, it, can, it can be achieved by means of a set of plugins supported by Gelastic so for example it's possible to um, it's very useful uh, for such projects uh, which are on a development stage for example to do, to make deploy to make project deploy right from the uh, ID for example you develop your application in Eclipse plugin uh, in Eclipse ID NetBeans idea whatever and you need to deploy and test that in the cloud you can do that by means of plugins supported by Gelasti um, there is a specific section plugins tower documentation so if we navigate here we go and there are two specific uh, plugins that can be uh, applied for Java applications only Java projects this is end task and uh, Maven plugin here are details how to install it how to run it and the same to Maven <coughs> so as a requirement um, these two type types of plugins can be applied for uh, Java Java uh, projects only and then we have uh, for now we have three uh, plugins uh, for the most popular ID um, which uh, which actually uh, don't require whether it's a PHP or Java project so you, you just install for example Eclipse ID then install plugin inside that ID and follow this instruction and uh, establish remote deployment thank you